All right, guys, back at you, old Steve O. Back at you. Retains moisture and nutrients. Ooh, wow. Helps promote strong roots. Enriched with Miracle Grow. What the heck? It is what it is, right? Peat moss, sphagnum peat moss. Yes. This is all you're going to use on our little air layering technique here, guys. It's all you're going to use. You can use cocoa core, what they call cocoa core. You can use that also. I went and picked up some more goodies the other day. I got perlite. I got a couple bags of red mulch to sweeten up some of these areas over here that Miss Daisy likes pretty. So anyway, I've got topsoil and all. But anyway, let me get this. I'm going to mix this up to us where I can squeeze it and the water just drips out of it. And then we're going to be able to do our air layering bag. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, guys, I've had these things in here for eight weeks or more. I don't see them doing much of anything. These are all uh, Pakistani mulberry also. Here's some katuk I harvested the other day and had them for breakfast. And I put them little stems in there to see what they'll do. Uh, this method here, no, I don't think so. I mean, the, the, the sticks, I mean, they're just coming out here. But uh, we're not doing enough. We're not growing any. It doesn't look exciting. This looks exciting here though. This here, Miss Daisy didn't think so though because this thing was blown out huge yesterday. She said, I can't get to my washer. What are you doing to me? I said, well, it's temporary, Miss Daisy. It's only three days. So this will sit here. I got a little fan blowing on this Moringa. I had to harvest some. I mean, it's just growing to the friggin' sky out there and I had to harvest some. So this will be drying down. You don't want to touch this thing because after about the, right about the third day, this stuff is really brittle, you touch it, you want to carefully take it off your hook or whatever, take it outside, otherwise you're going to have greenies everywhere, and then you process it outside, down, get the big sticks out of it and all that. All right, that's that. I got my little bag here, so we're getting ready to do this thing. Okay, guys, I got a lot of, uh, I got some stuff here. I got my rooting hormone here. And I got a little brush here. This is a, actually a little acid brush. You can get these cheap for soldering copper and stuff. Uh, just take, if you want a tag, today's 8-3, so I just cut this tag. Save your Clorox bottles, and you can cut out tags. Because we want to come back in about six, about six weeks. To check five weeks we'll come back in five from this date I got a little quart bag here I got my knife I sharpened that up really good so we can do surgery on the limb I've got this string here I don't know it's about four feet and I made a loop here but you'll see I made a, a long tag here a long tag end that'll be for tying you'll see that in a minute so i've got to load my bag with my peat now i wanted to show you something else here i've been running into this a lot here in the bee yard these you know florida's you know florida's got a lot of invasive species i mean just because of our climate and all this but this this one particular thing i just i hate it and i've been killing them as fast as i can find them but here it is this one i caught yesterday you know see the i don't know you see the face on it it's, it's terrifying. The whole thing is just terrifying. Yeah, and I had to terminate another one. I've, I've taken out probably a dozen of these hell hornets. These things from hell. I just call them thing, things from hell. Okay, let me get uh, my stuff loaded up and we'll go out and do the job. Okay, guys, here's the branch I've selected. Looks pretty hardy branch. Uh, I think getting some fruits on it too. But they're not as long as they should be. Uh, the big sales pitch I had on this thing, they'll get as long as your index finger. Well, I have not witnessed that yet. But, like I said before, 
I put some stupid oak tree fertilizer on this thing. But anyway, I got my act together now. Finally got it together. So what you want to do here on this puppy, come down and find a find a spot. Here's here's some fruits here on this thing. Right here. They'll get black. They'll get a nice black mulberry on them. All right, what you want to do is come in here. You've got a node here and one here, up under here, right here. So I'm going to I'm going to make our tree. There's one here, one. I'm going to make our well, I'm going to make my cut right in here between these two nodes. You got one under here, one here. You see that little knob? All right, what you want to do is come in here. And I sharpened this knife really well. And this stuff will ooze a white sappy material. Actually, what I'm going to do here, guys, is put my uh, rubber gloves on because, for the simple fact. They, they say, no, don't get this rooting hormone. Don't get this rooting hormone on your hands. So let's, let's be Dr. Steve here and, and glove up. We're going in for surgery, guys. We're going in. Yeah. This is a very, very easy technique. I, I don't know why in the heck I didn't come up with it. I mean, uh, discover this earlier. I've tried all kind of tricks. Here's this other note is here. Let's come in about here. And you want to get right down to the good wood. Now you're going to you're going to make a cut from here. Watch your hand. Cut from here up to this other cut here. Like so. Get in here and peel this bark off of here like so peel it off peel the bark all off of there okay now you got that clean to see this there's a green slimy layer here that's the cambium you got to you've got to remove that if you don't see i'm going to scrape that all away I'm getting down to hard, good wood, hard wood on this here. If you don't, this thing will grow legs again and reattach itself. Not good. You've wasted your time. Okay? You've wasted your time. So get that cam, that slimy layer off of there. Do a good job on it. All right, that's that. Now, now you're going to take your rooting hormone. going to take your rooting hormone and you're liberally going to paint this thing. Don't breathe these fumes either or this dust. I don't know what's in this stuff, guys. I really don't. I'm standing upwind of this. Okay, that's out of that. We're done with that material. Now you're going to take your string here. 
Well, let's go ahead and tag it while we're here. What the heck? Let's tag it while we're at it. Let's tag it way down here. We'll come back and ease that foil off of there. I got to go get some aluminum foil. That's one thing I didn't, I forgot to get while I was in there. Go ask your Miss Daisy for some aluminum foil. She'll give it to you. Yeah. She'll fix you up. All right, there's your tag. We're going to come back eight weeks from that. Now, take your bag, take your string rather. And you got a, a good sized loop here, you see. Put this loop here and come like this here. So you've got that action right there, okay? So we can open that up in a minute and I'll show you why here in a second. Now you're gonna take your bag of potting, I mean, uh, sphagnum moss. And you're gonna make a hot dog with this. Take your knife and poke in just one side now. And come down to about here. Don't go clear around the corner. Leave it there and leave this attached up here. See, they leave that attached. Now, you're gonna take this, open up your hot dog, and you're gonna center that you're gonna center that right into your medium. There like that, see. Pull this bag back. There you go. Now you're gonna take this, keep it centered, and you're gonna smash it right there. You're gonna smash that hot dog right there just like that. Squeeze it, let that water run out of there extra water all right now you can take your loop that's just sitting here nice for you and you can do that you bring that down cinch that up now you start wrapping it now you're trapping it see you're trapping this around that branch starting to get the picture now aren't you come over here come around this thing since you're up pretty tight get your hot dog cinched up pretty tight on there You need it about four foot long or so to get all this wrapping, you know, fixed up. Okay, that's pretty good right there. I'm kind of resting this branch on my shoulder here. Put about three loops on that. Cinch that up so that'll hold it. That'll be a lock and then put it put that in and put another locking knot on it. I'm going to do another one down here, come up over the top, because this is kind of baggy back here.
there that's it now granted we got a little weight here but not bad this is not too bad here but that's it guys that's all you need right there now you got your tag on there you're going to come back in about five weeks and play peekaboo under this thing and see if you've got roots all growing through this medium if you do then you just come in here and you snip it right here snip it right down here at the base as soon as you snip it have a bucket of water there and drop it in the bucket of water you don't want that sucking air up and through that i learned that from a landscaper the guy that does this kind of stuff for a living and uh, he says that's where a lot of people mess up when they make their cuts that thing is sucking and you know it's it's your your take on it's less but the roots are going to be from the top of this area up here coming out of there mostly down probably going to be shooting out of both directions up actually and then uh, we'll cut it here and we got i mean you guys you guys you could create you could create a forest with a tree like this now this thing's been in three years and i've gotten a few fruits off of it but i should be getting more fruits now and i don't eat a lot of this stuff but the blackberries and this would be pretty much considered a blackberry are good i mean it's a keto food don't go nuts on it because it, it will jack insulin obviously but it's one of your safer better deals now this here i'm going to go get some foil tin uh, aluminum foil and wrap this around the sunlight the roots don't like the sunlight from what i understand and so with that foil around there it protects it and we should have another success story i'm sure my moringa you can see my moringa i've been harvesting from this thing and it's really putting out good and i missed the frost last year i had a uh didn't have a frost last year so look at the caliber on these trees here this is this is like two years growth uh here before we had a frost and it killed everything dead as a donut dead as a donut i said oh man i've lost everything here but the creator was looking out for old steve because what happened it started shooting up from the root system guys and this is what i've got so i have got a non-stop supply of moringa going I'm putting in a lot of ground cover too. It's starting to crawl over. This is longevity spinach here. That's another good one to put in. I got a lot of thistle coming up. Uh, uh, that Mexican uh, thistle coming up. The bees like that. So yeah, I've got plenty of moringa. I eat uh, two capsule, double lot capsules in the morning of the dried powder moringa capsules that I make myself. Uh, excellent food source uh, cancer killing properties but this this is it guys this is how easy it is and like I said I'm sure I could do it with moringa probably the same technique but I don't need to I'm not uh, you know I've got plenty of that uh, these will be excellent uh, gifts if you buy the one I bought here was about six foot tall originally it had a, a couple of sticks coming out of the base of it you can look at the thing now my god it's, it's, it's pretty big and uh, that was $35 I paid for that it was about six feet tall well this here and it took three years to get fruit this here with this system you see the fruit it's already a mature tree so once you cut this your first year it's going to have fruit on it you don't have to wait that three years to get fruit you've got it already once you snip this and throw it in a pot so it's very cool very cool system i love it i love it i love it but watch out for them hornets guys those those hornets from hell if you see them terminate them uh, we don't want to deal with it it's just plain evil and uh, be happy guys i will uh, and be strong too. And I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.